Well, today I want to talk about a word beginning with E. That's our Advent word today, embrace. And it's scarcely a word that enters my vocabulary very often. Embrace. You know, I want this coronavirus pandemic to end very quickly because I badly want to hug and embrace my baby granddaughters who I've seen only a few times this year. But this Advent word of the day has forced me to think of the very things I need to embrace. Think of Mary and the truth that faith and questions go together. And we're called to embrace trust in a God who knows what he's doing. And what about Joseph, that unsung hero of the Christmas story? He heard four times from God. And we need to ask ourselves, has God got something to say to me this Christmas? And then there are the shepherds, those bad boys, often frowned upon. Yet we can see that uh, we are all invited to the stable to embrace the good news of hope. And then the so-called wise men. They weren't kings. We don't know if there were three of them or not, just three gifts. What do you give the one who has everything? That lovely line from that carol, what can I give him? Give him my heart. So embrace him and finally embrace joy. You know, this may be the most difficult piece of advice as this pandemic goes on and on, but we can find joy everywhere during this season of Advent. In the smiles of children, albeit socially distanced from Father Christmas. In the generosity of those who carefully select gifts for a family and put them under a tree. By the haunting hymns that tell us to prepare for Jesus is coming. We need to embrace that joy, then share it. For then we can say with huge confidence, joy to the world, the Lord is come. Embrace him.